Let's talk about DevOps and SRE or Site Reliability Engineering. What are those? How do they differ? Are they the same thing or are they different? Let's put an end to the confusion. Some people think that they're the same thing. Some people think that they have nothing to do with each other. Some people think this, some... It's confusing. So let's try to clarify what those are and how do they differ if they differ at all. If you ask Andrew and Patrick, what is DevOps? They would say, and I will read this, a software engineering culture and practice that aims at unifying software development and software operations. It's not really a useful description that explains what it is, but we'll get there. The definition for SRE that I like, and it comes from Ben Trainer, says what happens when a software engineer is tasked with what used to be called operations. I love that description. It explains a lot or, or not so much. We'll get there as well. So those are the definitions that I pulled out. We're going to talk about those two in more detail and we're going to start with similarities. What are the common things between DevOps and SRE? And there are three that I can think of. The first one and the biggest one is about bridging the gap between development and operations. It was bound to happen. We have to remove those barriers and treat one separately from another. Like operators are people who copy and paste commands uh, and click some buttons and developers are people who don't know how to deploy anything. They just write code. That needs to disappear and both DevOps and SREs are trying to remove those barriers, those silos between two types of of work, right? Today, operators need to know how to write code and developers need to know how to deploy their stuff. And it makes perfect sense that we are removing the gap between the two and somehow unifying those roles into one role or one team, maybe. The second common thing between DevOps and SRE is automation. Automation and automation. It's all about automation. We cannot run at scale without heavy automation. It's just too expensive, too slow, and too error prone. Now, if you look at those two groups, like DevOps and uh, SREs, there is another common theme. If you look at Google SREs, we can see that the group consists roughly of 50% operators and 50% developers. They're joined together and working together, making sure that Google is running at all times. DevOps, on the other hand, is about combining uh, development and operations. So that's the third common thing. Both are trying to join development and operational knowledge into either in one group or to teach people how to have both types of expertise. From here on, things start to diverge, we can start seeing differences between DevOps and SREs. So let's compare the two. Let's see what are the differences between the two approaches or two sets of practices. Or I, I don't know yet what it is, but between the two. DevOps on one hand is about removing silos, understanding the big picture and being capable of delivering stuff all the way until production. SREs, on the other hand, are mostly limited to production. Generally speaking, in most cases, SREs don't care that much what is happening in staging and integration, what is happening throughout the life cycle of applications. They care about whether production is running and running well. Another difference is that DevOps is mostly focused on mindset on a culture of collaboration. It tries to remove the silos, you know, just like with Agile, we remove the silos between development and testing. DevOps is trying to remove the silos between development and operations. It is a cultural change more than anything else. SRE, on the other hand, is very technical. It is a set of practices, a set of metrics that we should follow and apply. DevOps is about product development and delivery. Here's the product. This is how we develop that product, that application, whatever that is. And this is how we deliver it as one self-sufficient team capable of doing absolutely everything related to a single application or a single product. 
SREs, on the other hand, do not care much about products. I mean, they might be developing products, but that's mostly for their own internal usage. SREs are more focused on systems availability and reliability. Is the system running? Is it available at all times? That's the focus of SREs. Now, SREs can and often do get involved with products, you know, those that are usually characterized through DevOps, but that is more about making sure that the products that other teams are working on, when they reach production, they will not mess up with the whole system. That they will work nicely and be part of highly available system as a whole. Then we have distinction about the organization of teams. The teams, DevOps teams and the SRE teams are very, very different. DevOps teams contain everybody. Literally everybody, product owners, developers, testers, operators, be it different people or same people having different types of knowledge. Nevertheless, DevOps teams are teams that contain full knowledge how to do absolutely everything. And that means management, uh, development, writing code, writing tests, operating something, deploying to production and so on and so forth. DevOps teams are focused around products and they're self-sufficient. SREs, on the other hand, are mostly systems engineers who know how to write code. They are preoccupied with the system as a whole, not specific products, and they know how to write code. They are developers with very strong knowledge about systems. DevOps is about what needs to be done to unify development and operations. SREs are more concerned about how that something can be done. So DevOps is about what, and SRE is about how something should be done. I hope that this clarified a bit the differences between DevOps and SREs. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, do, do the jazz, do the things that you usually do. See you in the next one. Cheers.